on the attack. And really needing armor. That red will go to Martyrs. So that might set him up for Quad coming up in about three. Fifth, though, has had the better timing. And Chief oh my goodness. gets yet another Quad. Yoink. And strangely enough, and even we didn't see any spam coming from Martyrs, Jahar. We didn't see any spam coming from None. Martyrs down in that None. spot. So to me, that says maybe they don't know what the timing is. Now that would shine a light on a lot of things if they just don't know the timing at all at this point. And really, Chief is not giving them a chance to uh, to think about it much because he's just wiping them out left and right. And even if he didn't get a lot of frags with that quad run, really it just yeah, solidified the fact that they are currently in the lead. And yeah. as the time runs exactly. out, it's going to be harder and harder for Martyr to do anything about it. And yeah, yeah, and now, you know, the fact is, with that quad run, it's given them this red. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't really see what Martyr could do differently here to try to turn this thing back around. Um, red has kind of gone to both teams not quite evenly. I think some of the favor has been uh, uh, four-fifth, but it, it doesn't seem like it's happening at the right times. And by that, I mean... You know, again, going back to something I said and almost lost, where I, I really feel like the red armor right before quad and the red armor right after quad, kind of, they kind of become the most important pickups of that uh, item. But look at this great aggression by Chief. That is a frag, oh, ladies and geez. gents. But, uh, but the basically securing those resources sets the tone for you know how the quad run will go, whether or not it's going to be a quick grab and death of the quad carrier, or whether or not that quad carrier is going to be able to run the map. Um, similarly, making sure that you get the red armor right after quad means that uh, that you can then set the tone for holding down the rest of the items throughout the course of the map uh, while you're waiting for quad to respawn. It has now respawned, and we will see instead this time a uh, quad picked up, and Martyrs go. has learned from their mistakes, and they were able to kill that carrier. Um, but uh, they, they were still not on the spot yeah, as it happened. They did this as I was mentioning it, but you were wondering what Martyr could do differently, and you already brought it up yourself, Priest, as far as being able to rain down the spam, do some damage whenever they're going to be grabbing that quad, because the last several times, I think, dating back to the beginning of this match, uh, Fifth has been grabbing the quad literally unopposed, and that's something that could really change in Martyr's favor. Now, at this point, you know, we're, we're looking at... Uh was it 17 frags? Mm, four and a half minutes. Five more minutes. Time is getting a four bit half, tight. Yeah. Uh, this this is going to become very difficult, especially when you've got. Not, now here they've pushed them off of red, but oh, look at this. Chief's waiting around because he wants to do. He wants to punish. He's trying to wait. For it. Uh oh. I right, pulls down one. Oh, oh look at this. Oh my goodness. Now that red may go to Mac. But honestly, Chief is the victor there because uh, yeah, he was Chief able to do a little bit of damage wow. and pick up a frag, and he's still alive. Finally goes down. Oh, nope, never mind. But but Caster's still. Curse. But well, yeah. But but as it goes, um, <laughs> you know, I would still kind of put that uh, in fifth column um, because they were even on frags, and but that red armor was pretty much useless. So you know. It, it, it didn't really help Mars, is what yeah, I did. the fact that he got it out of the room alive just means a lot. Uh-oh. Looks like Runelor is in a position here for the quad, but he's leaving it here. He's early. Looking to get cheap, and he got a little bit he's lucky there with that one, but... Yeah. Or below, apparently. Oh, no, they're both Look at this, double team here. assessing. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's like uh, little fire ants coming at you. You know, they're small and tiny. They don't have a lot of bite. He just ran. But if you wait around too long, it'll eat you alive. 47 to 34 is it there. Racking up the frags. This is a great run here. You gotta be careful about this and push to red. Like, Fine, take the quad. <laughs> Didn't want it anyway. <laughs> Let go of the oh, button. Got a beautiful dance going Let's on go here. with the button. <laughs> you can't beat him through the floor. Yeah, they fixed that in the last patch too with the rocket splash. 
I know. I, I was, it was like uh, Quake 3 all over again. Yep, yep. I was actually pretty surprised that it was in there in the first place. Because that was one of the first big fixes that was done to Quake 3. <laughs> I was like, really? Alright guys, Again? 10 frag game. I thought this was old news. Yep. 10 frag and game and honestly two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, dude, this is possible because we do have one more quad run. And if it's the quad run to end all quad runs, the martyrs could try this out. Let's, let's see if they can do it. We're gonna watch Mac here. See if he can set up for this red. Now with a full 10 seconds in know, between man, because... red and quad though, Jihar, uh, you have the potential of the red getting knocked off before quad is picked up so uh, this will be very critical this is to see yeah. if we can see any traps laid at red i'm gonna go try to find a player that's anywhere near it i was gonna say Back that when you're spell. depending on a quad at the last minute to secure your victory well guess what the other team is going to know about that too and when the quad comes around they're either going to be strong on it or they're just going to disappear because they know just as well as as the other team that that quad run is going to be vital and if you're depending on that last quad run, it, it, it isn't going to happen either way. I haven't seen it go that way. Well, that, that isn't really a quad run ever. when it uh, is picked up and right. killed uh, within the second of the pickup. So uh, at this point, it's going to have to be played out in regular time. We have ourselves a 12 frag lead for fifth. And uh, I think they're going to walk away with this, this one, Jahar. Uh, apparently, they can't play ZTN worth shit, but uh, they're pretty solid everywhere else. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, here we're we are in the last 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Right now, we're looking at <laughs> we're looking at fifth with 57 frags, Martyr with 42, and we just saw the last quad run just a few seconds ago, and this is just going to be the final fluffer time. Keeping fifth hard and <laughs> just pit, uh, uh, picking important. up these last few frags. I'm sitting here, uh, I'm running through yeah, the and, accuracy and of these specifically, guys. he hasn't been having a great day. Yeah. I'm not really seeing anything that, that really stands out to me in, in terms of accuracies. I, I think it's just kind of all around, uh, slightly better playing for fifth, so. Um, I think that my, my prediction ends up being somewhat right, um, because, uh, you know, if we look at it, I think Rune Lore's strongest map was uh, indeed ZTN. And uh, when he came out swinging, uh, we did see Martyrs do quite well. But uh, fifth comes out on top, 59 to 43. Jahar, um, what are your thoughts here? Because uh, honestly, I thought that was a great night of, uh, of Quake Live. It was a great night, and actually we got to see the full gamut. We saw Martyr really take home Blood Run by a long, uh, by a long lead, and then the second map almost lost was just back and forth. One of the better games I've seen in in the last couple weeks, and that was just really, really fantastic. And here we just saw Fifth just assert their dominance and say, you know what, we're not going to let this one go to you guys. And they're yeah. going to be taking this one home. And these guys being even on the brackets before going into this match made this really vital for both of them. So this is going to be a significant one-up for fifth. Indeed it was. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, who we are. We are Quake Live TV. So if you've just tuned in into us tonight for the very first time, uh, welcome. And uh, we run these shoutcasts every Monday and Wednesday. And then uh, we also those are sort of our regular nights for things. Um, and uh, we start at uh, 9.30 on Mondays, that's 9.30 Eastern on Mondays, and 9 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. Uh, this Wednesday will be our usual King of the Hill, which is a 1v1 dual uh, tournament that we like to run. It's open to the community. Anyone can play. Um, if you'd like to know what events we're covering, we're gearing up to cover some Capture the Flag, which is one of our very favorite game types. Uh, we've got Bring It Back Safely and Quake Knight CTF just around the corner. So if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do so, twitter.com slash quakelive underscore TV. And uh, if you want to watch, we have hours upon hours of VOD content. That's high quality video on demand. Um, which is uh, even better quality than what's offered here on the stream. Actually, it's far superior quality than what's offered here on the stream. And uh, it's even downloadable. You can download it, watch it at your leisure. And uh, you can find our hosted video archive.